And we are back. For today's video, we'll be fixing the Ace Pro and the filament path. Now, before we go ahead, can you hit that like and sub? So where do we begin with the Ace Pro? What I usually do is check the buffer mechanism at the back. Checking the backside ensures that the mechanical components is not stopping the filament path for the extruder, which can give you issues. So everything at the backside here needs to be completely flush to the uh, housing cover there, uh, as you can see in this video. And when you do try to pull off the uh, PTFE tubes, it should go back as snappy as it can. If there is something stuck in the backside, you will feel the resistance of the spring, meaning there might be a jam or something stopping the filament path. Then I proceed with trying out the spring individually with one, two, three, four. And you will definitely feel something off when uh, testing these out. So if your buffer mechanism is protruding outwards, it definitely means there's uh, something jabbed in there. And now we proceed with disassembling the buffer mechanism. So all four completely flush and flip this guy up. If it's not flush, now's the perfect time to check what's inside. Back in the Cobra 3, there used to be four screws mounted on the Ace Pro unit, but uh, for the Cobra S1, it's only just these two right there. And we are pointing out where the two screws used to be. So it should be four, but for the S1, it is just two screws, at least for my unit. Disassembling the first screw, second screw right here, and we remove the cover for the buffer mechanism over there. Just find the right angle to remove this cover properly. Now that we have access to the buffer mechanism, you have to pay attention to the magnet and screws really easy to lose some of these stuff when opening this assembly also be careful the spring can fly off easily when you open it up and after removing the screws there should be a latch that you need to open up it's a plastic latch that you need to pry open or uh, you can use your hands to uh, get it up and that's the plastic latch I'm talking about so it should be on both ends just be careful it might snap open in half or you might break the plastic part and now we are trying to get the spring and removing the buffer some plastic parts so there should be a proper alignment there Showing you guys the two halves, uh, spring over there, and it's pretty much the buffer mechanism. Now, it's actually very interesting how they made this buffer mechanism. So, there's a magnetic encoder that detects whether more filament is needed. When it does trigger, it tells the stepper motor to push in more filament until your print is done. Now, the reason why a lot of people are getting errors with the Ace Pro or filament clogging is because of the buffer mechanism. So sometimes there's tangled filament or jammed filament inside of this buffer mechanism. You'll be able to see once you do open up your Ace Pro. Going back to reassembling the Ace buffer mechanism, you have to keep note of what orientation the plastic housing is. This is very important because it follows the cover that you use to keep this intact and move in the right way. For the final step of reassembly, we'll be flipping it up and putting back the two screws we removed earlier. And you pretty much redo this for the other three buffer mechanisms. And just double check whether there's tangled filament inside of them because you'll never know until you double check what's inside of the uh, plastic housings. So we're doing the final screw here for the first one we disassembled and assembled back again. And in this instance, I was double checking the snappiness of the springs we just double checked. A lot of things can go wrong when you actually don't double check the uh, movement and whatnot. And you can actually see me trying to readjust one of the buffers over here. Snap that into place. And an easier way to do this is you remove the blue clips and remove the PTFE tubes. You should be having an easier time reconnecting the buffer mechanism, but for me, I just proceeded with 
them having still attached because most likely there will be filament jams that you cannot remove the PTFE tube from so you know might as well keep it in in uh, this video example right here putting back the two screws we removed earlier doing some last minute checks right here and showing the working buffer mechanism out of the disassembly we've done and so it's working properly we check the filament path there's the filament detection on the left before it heads into the extruder if you're still getting issues with the ace pro let's check the feeding mechanism so there's two screws one on the left and one on the right so we slowly pry off the cover for the feeding mechanism this gives us access for the loading and unloading of the filament so there's a lot of sensors motors and yeah be careful but if you wanted to access more of the inner parts of the ace pro we'll proceed with unscrewing these screws right there just follow along if you're confused just pause it repeat it if you want to and for the reassembly just Follow the entire video in reverse so that you have a easier reference you can follow when reassembling and disassembling your Ace Pro. On the bottom side, there's actually six screws, two of which are hidden behind those rubber feet there, so be mindful of that one. Just removing the buffer mechanism screws right there. So I actually had like a hard time removing the rubber feet. I asked for help. Thank you, Swamp Junior. All right, look at him go. What a champ. Set those aside. Tag teaming this unscrew. And we are done. Flip this bad boy one more time. And try to remove the plastic housing. It's actually tricky removing this you need an extra pair of hands you could see right here we're kind of struggling removing it so you need to remove it at a certain angle but once you do it's easy to like just remove it just have one guy or person hold the main frame and pull it out but yeah pull it out very carefully you don't want to break any plastic parts here and we see the whole inner workings with the ace pro now if you have any filament or brittle filament jams in here this is the spot to check where those little bits and pieces are remove them remove the blue clips if you must counter check if there's anything stuck in one two three four and just reassemble everything the way we did it in this video just replay the video so that you can have a good reference on how to put things back together now in this shot right here i'm just showing the magnet now don't lose that please the screws and the magnetic encoder where the buffer mechanism works so that's the pcb if you need to replace that that's where it is just unscrew it follow the anycubic wiki if you want an exact instruction on what to do with those so putting these back together again just reverse the video you should be feeding the filaments a-okay I'll be doing more videos for the Cobra S1 and do let me know what kind of stuff you guys want for the troubleshooting guides. If there's anything confusing, just let me know down below and see you in the next one. Bye!